Uh, let's see. Borealis is almost at a good enough level to use. I think I can actually battle these two. Nope, never mind. I lied. But I can get an HP up to just slap on Lunagaron to continue to make Lunagaron a tank that I will never lose ever in my life. 117? More like still 117, but you know, eventually it'll be more. Also, I like the idea that we just kind of battle these trainers and then, uh, they just kind of retire. They just kind of leave. They don't, like, report us to their boss. They're just like, oh, I guess I'm done. Fight. Oh, I'm not worth it. Yeah, they're just like, you know, you beat me. I'm good. See ya. Have fun. I was also really hoping that, that Growlithe would learn, like, a fire type move to use there, but it didn't. Um, you know what? Yeah, let's light screen. And we'll have you Thunderbolt to Kekli Hunt. Bum, bum, bum. Let's, uh, Psychic. Still using up Roray. Not gonna stop. Doesn't seem like it. Oh, does Substitute not count for your color change? I wasn't even paying attention. I guess I'll just change to power you and Thunderbolt you. Knock Towel. That's a good Pokemon. That's a good owl right there. That right there. That's a good owl. Right else at level 30. Oh, that's a mighty Anna. Okay, we're gonna tag you out. How about I send in, uh... I guess you. There we go. That's a problem solved. Level oh, 32. Nothing new. Four levels away, though.
four levels away from success for Rob. I'm actually gonna be so excited when I finally get a clay doll. I really want to teach an earthquake too, because I can just send out Rob with Lance and just, you know, win. Set up light screen and or right light screen and reflect. And then just spam earthquake. Well, this is up there. I wonder what level I should kind of like chill on the experience share for. It's got the moves. It just seals kind of weak. Seal is pretty squish. Seals. I don't. I'm just worried about sending Seal out because they they can't take a hit, and unlike uh, Lance, they're also not fast as fuck, boy. So you can't really rely on Boliaris to safely sweep. A good a good Pokemon in a Nuzlocke is either one that can one-shot your opponent or that can really take a hit. Brawler and Bruiser kind of deal, where you're just kind of like where you're towing that line, like how a Zangoose does it, not exactly as useful. Nine tails and jump up. Okay, I can actually have, I can finally have the Growlithe actually stay up for this. All right, Rob, I'm gonna have you set up the light screen. Why, jump up? It's on Growlithe. This Growlithe can take a hit from anything that these two send up. Sorry, I'm just readjusting my seating. Yeah, Shadow Wave does like nothing. Oh shit, sunny day. Too bad that Gralis still doesn't know any fire type move. That doesn't like no damage. I should just send him Boogaloo. This is gonna take forever if I try and do this the normal way. Well, it might take less. I still, still. At least he's just gonna slowly sap away at this. Um, yeah, let's just send him boogaloo. Boogaloo, 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 boogaloo. Can you not? Oh no. Well, I have the light screen up, so at least Rob's gonna. It's getting crit! Why? This game can just decide to do that! I fucking so mad. It just decides that you're dead, like always. I swear to God, the AI can read when it gets a crit. Like, it knows when it's going to get a crit. Because I... Like, there's no... Sometimes it just... It's insane. Sometimes the luck of the AI is insane. It's unbelievable. Literally. Like, I don't believe that it's luck. I think it's cheating. I just get so bothered by it. 
Uh, fuck. Here's the thing. Normally, I was gonna say I'd just put in Ralts over. What's his name? I just put in Ralts over Ball Toy, but. I can't keep having single type Pokemon come in. I think I actually need to put in Neboris. My my guy. I need to put in Trap Inch. And you already forgot Robert? This. I'm just saying Rob. Wait, did I say some a different name? That would be, is it just because I'm trying to like swap out who I'm gonna replace? I gotta think about these things. I gotta consider the following. Sent in Lunagaron, I guess. They forgot the name? What'd I call him? I thought I called him Rob. Am I crazy? Can't believe this. Call him what's his face and bolt. You're right. I did do that, didn't I? It shows you how much I valued him. Let's try and do this tactically. I'm gonna bite you, Thunder Wave you. <laughs> and they get sent to a box named Hell. Oh yeah, the last box I was set to was was the Grave. So they're getting accidentally sent to Grave. <laughs> Anyways, the replacement for Rob. I think I have to put in... I was going to put in Lunatone. Because originally I was like... Oh, wow. Originally I was like, he could be a really good replacement. And I... God, I, I might still do it. Lunatone's actually pretty nasty to have on the team. So Lunatone, Psychic Rock. Still has Levitate, I'm pretty sure. It comes with Psychic too, so I don't have to worry about that. Neboris being Dragon Ground's pretty nice with Levitate. Well, I'm not catching a Tangela because Lunagaron hates having new friends, I see. And now we get a crit. Of course. Thanks, Lunagaron. You're a, a valued member of the team, apparently. Lunagaron just wants this run to end. Yeah, Tangrowth doesn't it. I mean, I wasn't really worried. Honestly, I'm not even that worried about getting this butter free either. These are two kind of mad Pokemon to get at this point. It's just the, the fact of the matter. Because now it's going to be harder to get the... I mean, I don't really care about the nose pass, but still!
Maybe it's into Great Ball at this point. Uh, um, Trap Inch, Lunatone. I have to train them either way. Like, let's let's be clear. No matter what I do, there's gonna be training to be done for these guys. Oh my God, this Butterfree. Uh, Dragon... Okay, so here's the thing. As much as I loved having a Flygon on my team, I think it will just be prone to death. The only thing... Just chuck him on a fodder. Yeah, it's nice having just, like, uh... Bench warmers. But, uh... As much as I love myself a Flygon... As much as I love myself a Flygon... It wouldn't be as useful as if this was Gen 4 on. Because all Dragon type moves are special. And Plagon's slow, so it also feels like hits that issue I had with putting on any other Pokemon. Where it's just kind of like with Bully Arts, where it's just kind of like not that fast, but not that bulky. Lunatone wouldn't have that issue. It would be able to effectively fill the slot that Rob filled. On that note, though. Get the fuck out of here. Because I have to go fucking put my Pokemon in the grave six feet under. And also my Zangus is ready to be purified. Good for Zangus. And Mirror B is back. But here's also one of the things. If I caught the Tangla, I could have used it for purification. Makes things go faster. Now I don't have it, so I can't do that. If you cut the Tangla, you can... For kindling, I could. It's very cold in my condo. My heater is not working. I need to burn something. The downside of Lunatone is the same reason as Flogun with a special dragon type, but for rock instead. Yeah, the benefit is at least the moves are better. I do get the benefit of, uh... Oh, wow, you have Brick Break? Hold up. That's really good. Uh, I do get to use, like, setup moves more. I'm gonna nickname you, uh... Uh... Splash. I'm not thinking creatively tonight. Alright, where's my slash? Oops, I actually don't want to pick you up. Put you here. Uh, Thorn is also not dead. That's right. Thorn didn't die. Rob died. Oh, if I am going to use Rob, or if I am going to use Lunatone, I'm taking that uh, Twisted Spoon off. Hey, that Pokemon that didn't have the focus band died. We're five and one. All right, anyways. Yeah, I could use a shelter, but I don't want to use a shelter. Poison barb, interesting. Um. So yeah, our candidates currently are Lunatone, Ralts, and Trapinch. I'm not using a Nemo. Just wanted to put that out there. I'm not using a Nemo. 
I tried to use a Nummel in a non Nuzlocke, and it sucked. Um. Honestly, actually, so now that I'm thinking about it. So now I'm thinking about it. Putting a Lunas on my team, having the Rock type on my team. I'm just thinking, what does that accomplish? I beat Bug, I already beat Bug. I beat Fly, I already beat Fly. I beat Fire, I already beat Fire. I beat Ice, I already beat Ice. So really, it's just about having the Psychic type, isn't it? And if I'm just gonna have the Psychic type, then Ralts is better. It's faster and it hits like a freight train. The only downside is I have to be considerate of the um, fact that this is a, a double battle centric system, right? And as we see frequently, if two Pokemon attack one Pokemon that isn't just a tank, they die. And that's why I'm like, maybe I don't do that. Maybe Lunatone is better. Flip side. Ralts will be better for the boss battle coming up, because Lunatone's gonna get shit rocks by, like, 90% of the Pokémon that Gorogon has. I'm honestly now considering less of using Trap Inch, because... Trap Inch won't really help. At some point, getting Earthquake will be nice. If I can. But that's a ways off. And let's also not forget that the final battle of this game, half of the final battles like, team is flying type. So, get fucked, my Pokemon. Hmm. Take a look at you. I mean, not the worst. Rain Dance is not bad. It's pretty bad, I mean. Um... But the benefit... Okay, so here's one of the benefits. Just out the gate. The reason why Forecast is so good in this game is because it gets to Shadow Move Baton Past. And it can learn Cosmic Power. So you can use Forecast to set up. And then, since I have a very special attack-centric team, I can swap into Boogaloo, I can swap into Borealis, I can swap into Growlithe. Even swap into Lunagaron to make him deroid it out. It's very handy. Combine too, I can get both of them. I can just make him a setup. Like, I can just have Forecast have Psychic, Baton Pass, Calm Mind, Cosmic Power, and he is just a force to be reckoned with. I wouldn't have the shields up, but that's fine. Meanwhile, we got Ralt over here. Way faster, way more capable of sweeping on her own. Also comes pre packed with Sing, Shockwave, Reflect, and Confusion. Sting and Shockwave are very good. Very, very good. Shockwave is less good on my specific team because I have Boogaloo already to take care of any use of this move, and Sleep is very inaccurate. But Reflect is handy. Ah. I think, okay. I think what I'm gonna do, we're gonna pick up Lunatone. And the reason for that is, if this boss battle goes south, I think it's going to be in my best interest to have Ralph saved for later. If it goes south, I'm, it's going to be better for later to have Ralph. If, like, so just in the, in the thought process, if I lose Lunatone, it's like, okay, I still have Ralts. If I lose Ralts, it gets worse because Lunatone doesn't really do better in the late game. So using Lunatone right now is probably in my best interest. I think that's for the best. Otherwise, let me... here we go. I think that's in my best interest.
just trying to put in the appropriate Pokemon for their... For their... Low. There we go. Alright. I don't really have a use for you right now, so you're just gonna stay here. Uh, so yeah, now I'm gonna replace this slot with... I- another Pokemon that I never thought I'd use, like, in my life. Lunatone. Named. Oh, how did I spell? Okay, second. Okay. Genuinely never thought I'd ever use a Lunatone. Uh, also, definitely gonna give the Twisted Spoon to it, because it doesn't know a rock type move right now, I don't think. Is a Meteor Beam? Yeah, I wish I had that. Well, it doesn't know a uh, Rock Tomb, which is, you know, a dog shit move, but I uh, hate whatever. Can I move that's like good? No, I'm not teaching it that. Um, don't suppose I can teach it Ice Beam. Oh shit, I can. Hold off on that. If I get a Gardevoir, teaching Gardevoir Ice Beam is like way more high priority. Ice Beam also won't help me for Gorgon. Gorgon has nothing weak to ice. In the meantime, um... I mean, it's only been like a little under three hours, but at the same time, I have only about three Pokemon I can use. So this isn't like, I I started with like an hour of training. We did under two hours, like probably only like two hours and 45 minutes. No, one hour and 45 minutes of actual content. And now I have to go back into training. Such is the way of Nuzlocke. Uh, but yeah, this is a uh, eight and team. This is a team that exists. This team. Yeah. We're doing our best. We are doing our best. What can you say? We're trying. Um, I'm going to definitely train for next time at Mount's Battle. And do my god diddly darn best to get probably Borealis evolved and Growlithe purified. I'm I'm thinking of aiming for level 34 for next stream. That's probably what I'm gonna aim for. I think that's gonna be pretty best. This is the kind of team you expect to find on the victory first victory road trainer. Yeah. Yeah. This isn't exactly what I would put together for my, like, run of any Pokemon game. It's not great. It's not great. We're doing our best with what we have, and what we have are sticks and stones. So, we'll see. Fortunately, like, okay, before I go, I'm just gonna, like, recount. Because we do have... I mean, I can't show it if I don't, uh... We do have a Roselia there, which isn't the worst, as we've seen. We have the Ralts here. Ralts is like an ace that we're, we're saving for later. Secret weapon. We also still have a Trap Inch that I can trade in to Duking for a Tyranitar, which in this game would be better. 
Tyrantar stats are fucking insane. I also still have a, a Houndour. Houndour is a very good Pokemon. Like, a super good Pokemon. Dark and Fire in Gen 3, it, it does a lot of damage. It's a good Pokemon. Uh, only downside is... Well, it would be a dark thing. Um, nothing in this box is any note. And I still have this Pidgeotto along with the Zangoose. And the Meowth's pretty good. So at the moment, I, I have like tiered replacements. Ralt would replace Forecast if I need to. Houndour would replace Lunagaron. Um, I don't know what I name you. I know you—you you, aren't—you Chuckster. Chuckster would probably replace Borealis, and uh, 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 I can't do it. The, the Pidgeotto that I cannot select would replace Lance, or the Zangoose I have here. Slash would replace Lance. Currently, I have nothing to replace Boogaloo or Growlithe. I don't know what's going to happen if I lose them. Like, genuinely, it's going to... Oh, my God. Boogaloo is also the one that's most likely to die. I'm going to be... Well, look. Okay. Borealis is most likely to die. You know what I'm thinking about? it? Lance is the most likely to die, followed by Borealis, followed by Boogaloo. It's like that order. But, you know... Lunagaron is the only one that I'm confident won't die in the next century unless I decide to send him out against the Primate and get his face kicked in. Which I don't intend to do until the battle is about to be lost. Obtained from my dad. Yeah, I'm, I'm confident that Lunagaron is like pretty safe for the like foreseeable future. Man stacked. When you have a special defense stat that's almost as good as your health. Yeah. Oops. I mean that. We have a few backups for certain Pokemon. I don't think I'm... Well, if I lose both Houndour and Lunagaron, I'll probably trade in the Trap Inch for the Tyranitar, because at that point it's like, fuck it, let's go. Stats all. But yeah. In the meantime, thanks for watching. I'm going to be back on Thursday. I hope I don't feel too lazy to stream. Because I know that's Critical Role's stream day and I want to watch it. But, but, here we are. So yeah, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you guys had fun. I'll see you guys then. And I hope you guys have a good night. Goodbye, everyone.